Judge Arthur Barcenas told all the parties in Mark Torrey Jr.'s case, what we do here today does not just affect this case, it affects all future cases. Torrey was arrested for the 2015 fatal shooting of fellow police officer Albert Piolo and indicted for murder. However, in July of last year, a Supreme Court decision vacated the conviction. Now as the government tries the case for a second time, the amended indictment charges Torrey with negligent homicide and aggravated assault. And currently there is a pending motion for dismissal with prejudice by defense counsel Jay Ariola. The defense argues Torrey's right to a speedy trial continues to be violated by the government and also the Superior Court of Guam. As Attorney Ariola stated in court documents, his client asserted his right to a speedy trial on October 8th of last year and trial should have commenced by December 7th, 2019. The government objected the motion, arguing Tory is to blame for the delay because of the various motions the defense has filed, and this has prompted Attorney Areola to subpoena the Superior Court of Guam clerk. During a motion hearing this afternoon, Areola told the court he originally sent a FOIA request to the clerk to produce records in the case from January 24th to February 3rd of this year. In addition, he requested for the confirmation that Tory was the only asserted case during the time period in order for the court to take judicial note for accurate record. Areola said when the FOIA request was denied, he went forth to subpoena clerk Danielle Rossetti. Legal counsel for the court, Andrew Kenya, and Superior Court Administrator Christina Baird motioned to quash. Judge Arthur Barcenas scheduled a return for Friday, February 28th to allow for Areola to file his opposition, the Superior Court counsel time to respond, and for the government to provide their stance on the matter. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero.